Jason Matoya and this is Malcolm Stewart's Ride 365 Stewart Racing Machine. I've been working with Malcolm for almost two years now. I was his practice mechanic all last year when he rode for Geico. And uh, we went over to Europe and did some races over the summer. And um, I, it, I was a little nervous at first, but I mean, I think Malcolm was pretty comfortable with how I handled things and how we, how we did over there. We had a good time and we had fun and we had some good races. And uh, not having a team pick him up, we didn't really have a mechanic, so they're already paying me and they just brought me on board and I'm just grinding out, working. So we built this bike probably about two, three weeks ago, maybe we got, we had a stock bike and um, we came out to California and uh, we tore it down, got everything re-greased up and we are kind of riding a stock bike for, for about a week and a half until we figured out motor situation. Then. Dave at Yosh R&D decided to be on board and he's doing our motor. So once we got a motor, then we started um, testing, doing a little bit of suspension testing here and there. And it took about, about about another week to get everything ironed out and get get it ready for uh, A2. Uh, Malcolm likes a lot of torque on the bottom, so this motor's got a lot of torque. Um, kind of signs off up on top, I believe. Um, it's kind of a mild motor package, kind of lasts us a couple rounds to save us a little bit of money because things are getting expensive here in this uh, industry when you're going up against factory bikes. So the motor's kind of mild package, not nothing too crazy. Yeah, yeah, well, FMF was on board and then we were trying to go with Yosh and Yosh, uh, we were going to have to pay for some pipes so we went a different route and they were fine with uh, doing the motor. and. Um, we're paying for a motor, so we thought it would be in the package, and it ended up not being. So FMF said they'll do whatever we need and be on board, so we went that route. And they designed some custom pipes for Malcolm, and he really likes it. Yeah, show us uh, Bennett. He's uh, kind of been helping us out. Um, kind of here, he's helping us out, but we haven't really done a legit test day. So it's kind of what Malcolm says. He'll build something, and um, we got a shock uh, last thir uh, Thursday, last day we rode in California, and. It's better, so we still need some suspension testing, but we're kind of moving in progress right now. Malcolm uh, wanted to go with spring forks. He wasn't too much of a fan with air. He tried some air stuff, and he didn't really like it, so he wanted to just stick to the older stuff and go with um, spring and oil. W hooks us up with the XL wheels and the kite hubs um, all laced up, so it makes it easy on us, and uh, they give a good look to the bike, and they got some heavy-duty spokes because Malcolm's a bigger guy. so. Yeah, they hooked us up with a bunch of bling, you know, bling out the bike, you know, axle blocks, um, steering nuts and stuff like that. Yeah, those are stock clamps. We did some testing on some clamps uh, middle of the week. Uh, he tried a couple different clamps and we just, we haven't got the testing completely done yet, so we're still stuck on stock. Uh, the Renthal bars he likes, Malcolm would like a 996 Ben. It's kind of a popular band with a lot of guys. He he beats them around for a while, but they always end up in the same spot. But I kind of got it down where I set it pretty much where he likes it. He likes his clutch lever pretty high and his brake a little bit lower, so it's kind of awkward, but that's where he likes it. And he definitely likes bar risers on his bar because he's a bigger guy, so he's a little taller. So we got some bar risers modified. The foot pegs, you know, foot pegs were one, and uh, Moto stuff was on board to help us out with some foot pegs. The subframe Malcolm likes is lowered 5 millimeters. He says it gives him a little bit better feel, helps him turn a little bit better. We tried a couple different ones. We tried negative 10 and he ended up sticking with a negative 5. Uh, yeah, yeah, scrub on the frame. Definitely try to make it nice. Compete with all these factory mechanics, you know. I'm, uh, my first year being a race mechanic, so I'm kind of new to all this. But, I mean, we got a couple parts that we had laying around the house that we put on, make it, make it look cool. And um, Malcolm's a pretty simple guy. He just... He gets suspension and a motor and he's pretty happy. We've been playing around with some sprockets, so we'll probably do that a lot today. I'm assuming doing practice. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's Malcolm Stewart's Suzuki 450, number 47. Look out for him tonight. Darkness.